so now that we have completed all the controls in the department uh, page department tab now let's move on to the employee tab so we should be able to complete this much quicker because we have a template uh, available so we can just copy from the department.js and then replicate on top of it uh, and create for employee.js as well <clears throat> so we're gonna start doing that so the API is already available so we have the employee controller we have all the methods implemented already <clears throat> so here we have the get method where we are getting the employee ID employee name department mail ID and uh, the date of joining for each of the employees and we have a post method where we are inserting into the table <coughs> the new record which we want and uh, we have the put method where we want to if you want to update any uh, details of a particular employee we can do that and also we have finally the delete method where we want to delete the given employee from the table based on the ID which was sent <coughs> So just like the department.js, we're going to replicate it for the employee page as well. So let's start with the imports. We're going to copy all the imports and paste in here. <clears throat> so the thing to note, note here is here we have add department model and add department edit every deploy department model, which is, uh, you know, for editing or adding the department we need to create um, <coughs> the add employee model and edit employee model so once we create that we're gonna replace that okay for now let's keep it as is so once we create the add employee model and add depart uh, add uh, edit employee model we're gonna replace that <coughs> so the next thing that we want is the constructor let's copy constructor and and look at what we can change in the constructor so in the constructor we have uh, the departments object instead of that let's rename it to employees object uh, the add model show edit model show will remain the same since it is just a model pop-up for addition and edit so let's keep the name as is So we want the component did mount method. So let's copy that and paste. We also need the refresh list, which is to get the employee. Here we are getting the employee department details. The same way we we need to get the employee details. The only thing that changes is the URL. <coughs> so instead of a department, now it is employee. And then the data has to assign to the EMPS object which we just renamed here so we're gonna replace that name here and the refreshed list uh, uh, method is complete the next thing so we need the component did update method as well for the employee so we want to we want the employee page to behave just like the department the only thing that changes is the table and the additional controls right <coughs> fine so we have this and the next thing that we want is delete employee so let's copy that one as well so we have delete department here we're gonna replace it as delete EMP so we have window confirm are you sure and then instead of uh, okay here instead of department ID we have employee ID let's copy the same and paste in the URL and also the URL changes instead of department it is employee okay <clears throat> so I guess that is the only change that we need to do so next let's go to the render method and copy these two these three lines and paste it in the render method just before the return statement so the thing that we have to change here so let's check that out so we have to change this employees to employees so department ID we have additional fields as well not just employee ID employee name we have mail ID date of joining and uh, also <coughs> um, yeah mail ID date of joining and department so what we're gonna do we'll do we'll add it later for now just we'll add employee ID 
and employee name so we have additional fields as well that we're going to add later we now our task is just to show the data in the in the tabular format as in the department component so that thing <clears throat> so this thing will remain same we'll reuse the same functions and then we're going to delete this html method and we're going to paste whatever is there in uh, the department.js we're going to copy that and control v so now let's look at what are the things that we have to change in this render method okay the html so the first thing that we want to change is the headers so we have department id department name and option so we have fields for employees such as employee id employee name we have uh, department for department to which that particular employee belongs to and the next one that we have is department let's check what we have we have uh, department mail id and date of join so we have mail id and finally date of joining and also let's not forget the options the another column for edit and delete buttons so we have options here so let's look at what we have to change here so instead of departments it is EMPS and map instead of DEP let's call it EMP so the key is EMP dot employee id the same will go over here and the next thing that we have is the sorry the employee name so the next thing that we have is employee name mail id sorry department mail id date of joining third one is department mail id date of joining and then in next td we have these edit and delete buttons let's see what should we change here so instead of uh, EMPS employee so instead of department ID let's pass EMP ID it will be available in EMP dot employee ID and EMP name will be available in EMP dot employee name let's not forget that we have to add additional fields as well that we're going to add later on for now let's just make this page work um, so the next thing that we have to do is edit will remain the same for delete method instead of delete DEP we have delete EMP now and we have to pass employee dot employee ID now so this will remain the same so we have to replace this model let's just keep as is for now so we're gonna pass only employee ID and employee name for now maybe later on we have to change we have to add additional fields okay so we have employee ID employee name finally it's instead of add M add department it is add employee that's it so let's just check hoping that we get all the details without any issues and we have that's it so we have the employee id employee name department mail id date of joining and options everything is working as intended the only thing that we have to change is this we have to you know change the edit and add 
model pop up the contents of edit and add model could pop up as well as we have to create the new components for the model pop up so we have to create add employee model component and also edit employee model component which we are going to do in uh, the coming videos